Hey guys, <clears throat> we uh, got had a cancellation today, and of course it rained again. So we had a shop day. Had a friend come around fix his brake, so we still got something done. And it got came home, found a box. So I guess we're gonna open a box today. See what's inside. It's kind of heavy. Who knows what is inside? <clears throat> Where's it from? Warehouse. Kentucky, maybe? Oh. It has my name on it. Shop tools. Let's see. Oh. We might have something to make a video about. Check it out. Maybe it's a good day we had a rain day. All right. This is, I wish I had a packing slip. This is a top handle chainsaw I ordered off Amazon. This little thing. So you've got a little thing to mix your gas with. It smells like gas. There's gas in there or not, but check this out. Okay, you get a little thing to mix your fuel and your two stroke, 50 to 1. Put your gas in here, fill this up with two stroke, use 50 to 1. Um, this is the gasoline chainsaw 2500. Here's your little booklet, your destruction booklet. Well, it's probably blurry, but it's got about what, five or six pages. Do's and don'ts, safety. Okay, you get your booklet, get your little uh, funnel, and your chain, three-eighths chain, and you get your little tool bag. Your tool bag consists of a file. A scrunch, first scrunch I've seen with a Phillips head on it. You get a little tiny screwdriver. You get a Allen wrench. Um, I'm not sure what that's for. Another Allen wrench, and there's your little uh, your little uh, dogs, your little thing, your little jigger. No nuts or bolts or screws, and then you get your, uh, your there's your bar. This is a 12 inch bar, double guard, ML12. And, oh, let's see. Almost looks like an echo, it's got a color of an echo. All right. On off switch, kill button, chain brake, tough little chain brake, safety, um, I guess that's your choke, your air filter, I believe, maybe. Maybe not. Air filter. Little, there's nothing inside it. So that's all you get is that little mesh there. All right. 
Get the spark plug down here. Pretty simple. Maybe. All right. That's going back on. All right. Here's the bottom. Let's go ahead and put the. Uh, it's got a single nut for your bar. Oh, they want you to take off. That's weird. There's another screw to take off um, side panel. That's weird. Hmm, I've never seen that before. Kind of strange. For some reason it doesn't want to come off. I'm going to break it. I mean I might have to need the instructions here. I'm not doing something right. Oh wow, you gotta take a Allen. That's kind of a pain in the butt. I don't like that. But I guess that's what you get for like a cheap chainsaw. There's an Allen screw. How many of these are there? So this is not gonna be fun. If you have to do that in the field. Alright, there's your chain break there's your clutch all right I'm already not liking this <laughs> yeah I don't want to carry all that extra stuff with me out in the field so hopefully your chain doesn't fall off when you're up in a tree because a lot of times I have to put my chain on I'm gonna definitely not yeah that'd be okay for a ground saw but you definitely cannot carry all that stuff. I mean, it's bad enough to, for that little nut, but they have entered a whole new equation for top handle saws. You do not want to have, you want to have less parts fall apart on you in a tree. You don't have more, more tiny little parts. And take a trick to this, Usually I just flip it sideways and get it in there. This doesn't want to come over. There it goes. All right. Cute little salt oil. Chain doesn't want to go on for some reason. It's like the chain's too tight already. Why is it not want to go on? There it goes. Get on there, you. Have some technical difficulties here. All right. Now, is the tensioner? Maybe I was. Oh boy, this is the tensioner. I was turning the wrong thing. All right, I think I, hope I didn't break anything. That is the tensioner there. That's what your Phillips head screwdriver's for. I guess that's a okay idea, but I think I'm, Tight. All right, let me get this on without breaking it. I 
think I already broke it. I halfway broke it. If you guys can see this or not, but I'm trying to adjust the chain tensioner to go in the bar hole. Sorry guys. Jumped the gun and I started taking stuff apart and turning stuff before I actually I don't know Chinese saw so it kinda threw me off here a little bit. I'm going the right way or Okay, I'm going the right way. Probably about broke the tension because I was too excited. Started taking things apart that didn't need to be taken apart. Hmm. I think I'm still maybe I was right. All right, this is going to be a super, <laughs> super tight chain in the beginning because you have to. The chain was so tight to begin with. I mean, there's like hardly any. I mean, you have to. You have to get all the adjustment out I mean all of it there's no why is this not going on it's definitely not a simple adjustment here. Hmm. Oh, wait a minute. I think I have to... This is just too much here, dude. It's way too much little tiny stuff that has to work just right to get this thing back together. It's like a jigsaw puzzle. All right. And then your chain. Okay, I got everything kind of screwed back together. I mean, lined up, but now the chain, going through all that, the chain fell off. So now I gotta figure out how to get the chain back on. This is one, this is kind of, I thought this would be a lot easier. <laughs> Maybe it's just me, but I think this is going to be a pain in the tail. All right, we're getting somewhere now. Is it on? Okay. Sort of. I think I got it kind of sort on there. All right. Thank God, I got it back together. This is definitely something that you not want to be doing in a tree. You see how hard it was just to do it in a perfectly controlled environment. <laughs> Having all the tools available. Yeah, this is something that if you're if something falls apart on this thing you want to take it to the ground you don't want to try this up in a tree 
because there's just way too tedious to be in a tree doing this. But if you're just using it for a ground saw, I guess you're okay. I just don't understand why you need all these, this extra screw in the bottom. That's just crazy. And this is not a captured nut, so you're going to have fun finding that when it drops, too. But I definitely don't want to have an Allen wrench and an Allen screw I'm looking for. Just tighten these up while I'm here. Everything's tight. Just to make sure. Well, they did a good job on tightening everything up. Everything's pretty tight on here. Got a lot of Phillips head screws. I guess that's it, guys. Got the chain on. I don't have any two-stroke gas here, but I'm just gonna. Sounds good. Sounds tight. All right. I'm going to take this to the shop, put some gas and oil in it, and put it to the test. But I think this thing was only like a hundred bucks, maybe 110 bucks. So it's kind of like a disposable top handle saw. So we can get it to run and it operates. Um, it does, let me see. I don't think this is meant, there's no lanyard, there's no place for a lanyard on here. So unless they want you to screw one in here in the bottom, I don't see a place for a lanyard. So maybe they don't want you to climb with this. Maybe this is just a just a top handle saw for the ground. Hmm. Anyway, little baby top handle. I mean, you could put something around here. Of course, you know, just like your regular saws, put a lanyard around here. But there's no specific place for one back here. So we're just gonna have to treat it just like a, t a regular saw. Put a lanyard here. But Anyway, this is the <laughs> the twenty five hundred hundred dollar top handle saw. It is cute, and it does come with a lot of accessories, but it is a little bit of a pain in the tail to put the chain and bar on. So I recommend you don't do this unless you uh, have a place where you're not going to lose your nuts and bolts. <laughs> anyway, this is Roger with Roger's Reviews on the top handle from Amazon for a hundred bucks. Um, it doesn't even have a name on it. It's just the 2,500. So, um, I mean, even the paperwork only says 2,500. Anyway. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, maybe on the next one, we'll fill it up with gas and, uh, Give her a spin and uh, see if it's worth the hundred bucks. All right, have a great day. God bless.